Hello friends, welcome to SAD. St. Augustine Tutor Center. We are going to go to class 12 physics chapter 1. Electric charges and fields. Part 5. Coulomb's law in vector form. We are going to go to part 4. We are going to go to the definition of Coulomb's law. Please visit part 4 before watching this video. Consider two like charges Q1 and Q2. One of the two charges. That means, இது positive வாணக்கு இதும் இந்த இருக்கினாம் positive வாருக்கினாம் okay negative வாணக்கு negative வாருக்கினாம் so consider two like charges q1 and q2 this is a line this is a line representing the centers okay the distance between this q1 and q2 is this yellow line q1 and q2 இங்கினே நம்மல் எடுதான் காரணம் இ ரெட்டு லைன் எந்திரியை ரப்பரசன்டியும் சோச்சியையில் it is x and y axis suppose this is x and y axis then this is origin this is origin origin clear and we know that the distance from the origin to any point it is the position vector okay it is the position vector clear and position vector is denoted by the letter R. Is it clear? Okay. Position vector of Q2 with respect to Q1. Apa Q2 in the position vector ni ani paranada with respect to Q1 because Q1 here is the origin. Apa Q1 ni lindu gundel Q2 leku lagala. Q1 ni lindu gundel Q2 leku lagala. So position vector of Q2 with respect to Q1. Okay. Consider uh, this position vector is r, small r. Consider a line, the road on the area. Suppose a road. This is a star, uh, film star or angle. Uh, star or car in the country. The velocity of the car is 10 meter per second. After a few seconds, the car reaches another point. Now the velocity is 30 meter per second. கொர்ச்சி கேண்டும் கார் வேறு செல்துத்தி அப்பு வேலாவு செய்தித்திரேன் தேட்டி மின் நம்க்கு இதின் acceleration காண்டாங்க நியானா we know that what is acceleration acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time is it okay so the change in velocity is from here to here is 30 minus 10 okay it's very easy 30 the final velocity 10 the initial velocity so final minus Initial, final minus initial. That's what we are doing. This is the start and this is the end. The end is the starting. And the start is the end. The end is the end. Suppose the velocity of the starting or the initial position is V1 and the final position is V2. Then change the velocity. That is V2 minus V1. And we represent it as V21. V21. What is V21? V21 is the vector that you can do. V21 is a vector, velocity vector. V21. This is a vector that you can do. This two represent final, final position. And this one represent initial, initial position. Clear? So, final velocity, initial velocity, V21. The vector V21. Suppose that is V12. This is final. This is, uh, two is, தான் initial. Clear ஆனோம். So, in this case, this is Q1 and this is Q2. The vector is from Q1 to Q2 because it is a position vector of Q2. Then we can represent this R is 2, 1. R2, 1. R2, 1 vector. இந்து உண்டு அங்கு என்ன பரையாங்காரணம் 2 விலேக்கு எவ்விடுந்துன்ன 1 இல்லுந்துன்ன. So, 2 is the final destination. Final point and one is the initial point. Apo R21 in the variant vector on a very chicken. This is R21. Clear? Apo, uh, please understand the notation. In any another representation of the how to what uh, what is the meaning of this R21? A city man's law. I'll be now to go on Okay, so R21 means one nil in the two will like. Okay, it's clear. So this is R21 vector. So now we know that and then, um, Q1 and Q2 in the middle of the uh, distance uh, is represented by R21 vector. Okay. Then what is a vector? 
a vector means uh, suppose this is 10 meter and this is 5 meter okay and here is 1 meter in x axis okay x axis and here also a 1 meter in y axis so this total 5 meter total 5 meter is equal to 1 meter into 5 or 5 into 1 meter clear this 1 meter is known as unit vector j in y axis this 1 meter in x is known as unit vector i clear okay we call it as j cap and a i cap clear so total 10 meter 10 meter is a unit vector i cap in a 10 meter into i cap in the number area that means 10 i 10 i clear upper 10 i in more than x axis like a 10 meter 10 j means y axis like a 10 meter okay so shirky barnal apo would a vector a b suppose this is a vector uh, o and this is b this is 10 meter so o b vector in the barrena actually some quantity that is 10 into its unit vector means 1 1 meter kind of clear on okay so here r to 1 is equal to r r into unit vector r means the magnitude the magnitude how much this suppose this is 10 meter 10 meter and this r is equal to 10 meter into r to 1 cap means unit vector unit vector and the magnitude are 1 are okay so force on q2 by q1 q2 mele e q1 or force that means the q1 and q2 are suppose these two charges are positive this positive charge exert a force on this so what happened it moves or the force act on this line clear and that force is what f12 or f21 which one is correct it's very easy every day on every day on a final two every day on another one so force on two by one so this is represented by f21 and this is the line representing the action of f21 clear okay so uh, the force act on the line joining the center according to our Coulomb's law. So this is F21 vector. Clear? Okay? This F12 no one is not the F21 no one is not 2 will 1 act in the force. Force on Q2 by Q1. Okay? Clear? We know that uh, according to Coulomb's law, Fe is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q1 Q2 by R square. Okay, here F21 is equal to, up in the area 1 by 4 percent into Q1, Q2 divided by R square. It's very easy to understand. Okay, so, we have a vector. This is vector. If this is vector, if this is vector, then this is magnitude. Vector is equal to vector. If this is vector, we have a unit vector. Unit vector and the magnitude 1 and so no problem. Okay. 1 known to unit in the polyana unit vector on the unit another. Okay. So we multiply it with the unit vector. Okay. So what is this unit vector? R21. Okay. Now our equation become F21 is equal to uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q1 Q2 divided by R square into unit vector R21. Okay. Similarly, uh, now we are F12. Only the difference is the unit vector in the direction opposite to the F21. F12 is F21. F21 is F21. So now the equation becomes F12. F12 means the force exerted by, exerted by 1 on 2. 
and f12 means the force exerted by 2 on 1 okay so this is our q1 and this is our q2 this is r21 and this is r12 and this force acting on this is f21 vector and here it is f12 vector okay so this is the vector form of uh, coulomb's law okay this is one of the vector form there are two others so is it clear hmm? okay unit vector on the multiply the okay in the unit vector on multiply another direction okay clear on what is this are distance between the uh, q1 and q2 okay clear and one more thing what is this sir this is the magnitude clear this is the magnitude of r okay actually adanganey aanu magnitude is a uh, magnitude nu parana number aanu is a number so ingane ezhudiyalum ingane ezhudiyalum rendum seriyana ee case il ini vera representation varum appo nammal ee reethil ezhudum okay appo nammal nokkayanengile ee rendu karyangalum f2 anallum f12 lum same aanu pinne evadiyana vyathyasam vyathyasam f21 ennu parayumbo nammala position vector nammal 2 aanu ezhudanam f12 nu ezhudumbo position vector nammala 1 2 ennu ezhudanam manasilaya adha nam sradhikkanallo valare pradhana petta or point parayana unit vector um full vector um nammal idine full vector ennu parayan idine namaku full vector ennu parayam full vector idana unit vector unit vector idu endana idu magnitude aanu magnitude nammal vera reethiyilum express cheyyam p r21 inde magnitude namaku ingane express cheyyam r21 ingane vector ezhudiyittu adine chuttum rendu vara kanda appo ini sare edunna sarathe appo idu or representation idu koodade ee r nu pagaram nammal ingane rendu vara ittittu vector aaki kaanichittu ee parayna 1 2 aanu ingode 1 2 ennu ezhudiyal adu second type of representation aayittu namaku manasilaakki edukkanam okay so q1 q2 appo ibadana ingode ullathu nammal endu parayum r21 okay adu endu undana angane parayna namu already discuss cheythu kaani tirichu ingode undu adu endana r12 appo r12 aanengile ee second representation Hmm? Clear? If we look at this, R21 is R12 is opposite. Therefore, F21 and F12 are opposite. Then we say F21 is equal but opposite in sign for F12. Okay? F21 and F12 are equal but opposite. Because opposite is R21 is R12 is equal but opposite. Okay, this is the charge. Now, ripple is the force. We have to use the force. We have to use the force. Clear? Okay. So, this is known as second representation. Coulomb's law in vector formula. Random representation. That is f2 1 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 q2 into r2 1. r2 1 is the vector. Full vector divided by r2 1 cube. Clear? ओके अपन नए रहते हैं नमले आ इबड़ नमले नए रहते हैं इडी इडी इबड़ इडी इडी अंदायर नो नमले उड़ नए रहते हैं इडी इडी इंगिनी आयर नो आर टू वन कैप तार अंदायर नो तार नमले इडी इडी बेरुम आर स्क्वायर आयर नो ओके सो इ नमले इबड़ नए रहते इडी बेचो आर आर टू वन वेक्टर इन बनेल R2 1 cap unit vector अब इधर इन्हें unit vector अंडर ताला unit vector इन्हें वरना इंदर एक instead of unit vector instead of unit vector you can write इंदर अने इधर तारे के लिए divide by R this is unit vector okay clear so unit vector ने पायरंदर इधर हम R 2 1 vector divided by R अब तारे इधर एक R बन्दो इधर एक R square इंदर पर अन्य उन्हें कुनी के में दाव तारे divide ले R cube आओ Manusia awal nol, okay. Ini, nama kita R nol orang ni dah ni, berdaya ingat, nama kita R nol orang ni dah ni ingat orang lain, R two orang ni. Hmm. Apo R ni pagaram R two orang ni ada, okay. Aduh vektor ni, A vektor ni, magnitude ni, cube, okay. Clear? 
So this is the second representation of a vector form of uh, Coulomb slope. Clear? Here we have the third representation. Uh, suppose two charges, Q1 and Q2. Uh, this is x axis and y axis. In our case, we have physics. Plus one, we have this is origin. But the origin in Q1 like we have given, Q1 is the position vector. Suppose that is R1. Okay. Now, origin in Q2 like we have given, Q2 is the position vector. Suppose that is R2. Okay. Then, in our case, we have Coulomb's law. We have Q1 in the center, Q2 in the center. We have given joint here. So this is the position vector. So when you consider this, uh, this is delta R. Okay. Uh, Apo, number equation there. No? F21 is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q1 q2 divided by r21 vector all q. That is magnitude of r21, this vector, and r21. This is our equation. If we have a vector, we have a vector. We have a q1 in q2. This is our vector. Okay. This is our vector. Position vector than that is R21. But I'm kidding the country in delta. Upon the R21 in the power and I'm kidding the delta. Clear here are in the magnitude delta R in the cube. So now the equation become the delta R and delta R in the cube. In the delta R and the other. Okay. Upon the night, the plus one triangle of vector addition, but it's enough for the vector in a and okay. And the head in the other vector. Okay. Then we vectoring. Here, I am going to say that this vector is the opposite. This is the resultant vector. Okay, vector one, vector two, and vector three. So, now we are going to vector one plus two, and then equal to three. A vector three is equal to Okay. So, that is the R1. We are going to say that R1, R2, delta. Now, we are going to say R1 sorry r1 delta r kootumbo idu kittu so r1 vector plus delta r equal to r2 vector is it clear okay then what is delta r delta r is equal to the already right side nirukkuna r2 vector minus ivadeyulla r1 vector okay clear so delta r angane aanu r2 minus r1 appo ini ivide ee equation le Instead of this delta R, you can put R2 minus R1, here R2 minus R1, okay? So now the equation becomes, and now R2 minus R1, here R2 minus R1 in the whole cube, okay? And this is the third representation of Coulomb's law in vector form, okay? Clear? I'm going to move the representation, then I'm going to ask you about the third and second one, then first one, okay? Clear? So, in the exam, you can derive the first of the idea. 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 Okay, that's all about the Coulomb's law in vector form. Thank you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for new updated videos and also join our online tuition for more videos. Study at home, contact 9747977418. Email sunny77198 at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you once again.